Hi, Martin here. Today I want to talk to you about how to convert your 45 RFE to a 545 RFE and what that is going from a 4-speed to a 5-speed transmission. And it is very simple. Uh, this is going to be for your 99 and 2000s, your Chrysler products that have the TCM or TCU that look just like this, your transmission control module. And in 2001 is when they made the change, so you may already have the 545 RFE in 2001. And I'm going to also show you how you can find out what transmission you have in your vehicle right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you a build sheet that it will show you everything that that vehicle has in it. So to do the conversion is nothing more than a software replacement. You're not going to have to get underneath your vehicle and physically change the transmission at all. And all you really need is a couple simple tools. I got a T25 Torx and an 8mm socket. And what this is going to do for you is lower your RPM and improve your gas mileage. Now, my particular Jeep here is a 2004, so it already comes with the 545 in it. And at 70 miles an hour, I'm turning 2000 RPMs. Now that's with 373 gears, which is factory. Now if you're uh, doing this to, let's say, a Dodge that has 355s, you may already turn 2000 RPM at 70, but you could even improve that by converting it with the transmission control module. Another thing I want to do before we get started is just take you out for a real quick ride and just show you on the tack and speedometer how it shifts and when it does and you're going to see each gear, you know, the RPM change and how subtle it can be as well. And you're going to actually see where it looks like it's more like six gears and that's probably how the torque converter is locking and the whole solenoid electronic thing is. Uh, it's all somewhat confusing. but. Uh, Check that out. Now, if you're wondering what transmission you do have in your vehicle, you got that question mark. In the description below, I'll put a link to a website that you can put your VIN number in, and this is going to be for all 98 and newer Chrysler products. And when you do that, it's going to build, punch out a build sheet. It'll start out with the standard equipment. I mean, let's say like what alternator came in it? A 136 amp alternator. And at the very bottom of this page, it actually shows that it came with the five speed transmission. Now, on page four here, it goes into a little bit more detail. It uh, lists the transmission, the gear ratio, and also lists the Verilox uh, for the front and rear axles, which is kind of helpful. What if you're changing your fluids out and you want to know, do I have the Verilock? And if I do, I'd need the friction modifier. So this website's very handy. And also if you're going to, let's say, a salvage yard or you're buying a vehicle and you know it's a Chrysler product and you want to know what it came with, what's in that vehicle, gear ratio, engine, transmission, uh, carpet. Did it have carpet in it? It'll tell you right here on this build sheet. <laughs> Um, so it's very helpful. And then it also even shows you the engine. Now, it says the 4.7 PowerTech. Now, if this was an HO, it would say it was the HO engine on here. There's another thing. Uh, easy way to find out, does the vehicle that you're looking at have an HO engine in it? So this is a very helpful website. All right, well, let's get started. And before we go any further, I want to also put out there that D&E in the Garage, their YouTube channel, 
check that out. He also did a great job of explaining some of the differences in the two transmissions. And thanks for all his research that he put into that. You also need a 10 millimeter socket and an extension on there. There are three 10 millimeter bolts. We're going to pull the whole unit out with the bracket. And there's two bolts and one nut. There's one way down here. That one you need a pretty long extension for. All right, there we go. We got that part of it out. Now all you need is your eight millimeter socket. And as you're loosening this bolt, it'll draw the uh, connector off of the TCU. Now all you need to do, you got three T25 screws, remove those. There you go. Now take your newer transmission control unit and just reinstall everything in reverse. And that's it. Simple as that. You went from four gear transmission to a five gear. You gotta like that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. And if you've never subscribed to me before, hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of my next upload. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the links down in the description where you'll find Amazon links and you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and the channel earns a small commission. Really appreciate that. Also check out the links to that uh, website I was talking about where you can check out your build sheet for your Chrysler products. And that's all for your 98 on up. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one.